let's get it straight. And yes, we are winning. At least it looks that way at the moment. Greetings, and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. This week I have two subjects to cover. Both of them are pretty short, so I figured I'd stick them together. I might make a short out of the first part of it, but here we go. Lately I've been getting a few trolls that have claimed that I look like this person. Hello. Where I understand there are some similarities, this person and I are nothing alike. Not to mention the fact, like I said, let's get it straight. This person looks like me. Because I have not changed anything to make myself look this way. This is my natural look. In fact, I'm not even wearing makeup, and I don't usually, unless I'm on stage. And uh, that person has. They changed everything. So yes, I don't look like them. They look like me. They want to be like me. So don't get it twisted. Not to mention the fact that I don't care what you think I look like. All right? And I don't care what that person looks like. It's what's in here and in here that matters. So again, don't get it twisted. That person looks like me and not the other way around. And forget about the political differences. Although I don't know if you can call them political. Some of them are being made to be political. But yeah, this person wants to do this to all children, what they have done to themselves, and I don't. Uh, this person is also a diversity hire, and I'm hoping that I never become that. So yeah, we are not alike at all. We, we are, are not, not the, the same. same. And now for the winning part. We're gonna win so much. We're gonna win at every level. We're going to win with every single facet. We're going to win so much, you may even get tired of winning. And you'll say, please, please, it's too much winning. We can't take it anymore. Mr. President, it's too much. And I'll say, no, it isn't. We have to keep winning. We have to win more. Of course, you know, we always say things like baby steps. And of course, this sounds like a baby step. Of course, though, Florida is actually doing quite a bit of winning these days. Uh, from the Gateway Pundit that just came across my feeds today. Top Democrat Nikki Fried holds rally in Florida to take on Governor Ron DeSantis. Obviously, she's running for governor. Only 10 people show up, including staff. And I'm wondering how many of these people were actually her staff out of the crowd. Only 10 people. Could have been nine of them. <laughs> Nikki Fried is a top Florida Democrat. A top Florida Democrat now. Fried boasts of being the only statewide elected Democrat since 2012. She's currently the Florida Agricultural Commissioner in the Sunshine State. Okay, great. And something to brag about is the, all the votes that she got. She hasn't done anything for Florida. She hasn't, you know, she's running on the fact that she was voted for before. Okay. Nikki Fried is running for uh, is is running running do these people not have any kind of editors Nikki Field is running running for go Florida governor to take on Ron DeSantis maybe she is running twice she's running physically and metaphorically maybe on Friday Fried held a rally to discuss the recent 15-week abortion bill signed by Governor Ron DeSantis only 10 people showed up including staff so she had a rally to entice people to kill babies. And 15 weeks is actually twice as long, over twice as long as what the actual Texas bill is. It's like six to seven weeks because it's a heartbeat bill. Uh, these people are in such a hurry to kill children before they're even, they're even whacked for the birthing whale. I mean, what's your, you know, what's your hurry? How many children do you have? 
So yeah, this is their top, top Democrat that we're talking about here. And I don't know who Olivia Iverson is. I think she's a, a journalist over there in Florida somewhere. Uh, but yeah, this is this is her rally. This is her rally. In fact, very, very, very small. And it has two, em two empty seats. Two empty seats. As small as it is, it still has two empty seats. And it's, it, I bet you any amount of money if you asked her, she's probably a Trump hater. But it sure is funny how they'll use some of his ideas to try to gain voters. She's, and this is what they call a rally. <laughs> Here you go. Here's another spot. Another couple of videos. I'm not going to actually pay the videos. I don't want to get copyright struck in or whatever that is. But yeah, this was one heck of a rally, my friends. This is one heck of a rally. So yeah, what can I tell you? I think Ron DeSantis should be shaking in his boots about now. So yeah, <laughs> these politicians, like I say, when I say that we're winning, we are winning. It may not seem like it, but of course, even as much as you win, you still can't let up. You have to keep fighting the good fight, keeping the faith, and uh, laugh when you can. <laughs> this is actually laughable and pathetic. She had a rally to go against an abortion bill. She literally wants to kill children. I wouldn't vote for that. I would not vote for that. But of course, you know, they wouldn't do this stuff if it didn't make them money, which is even more shameful. So, once again, to sum up, get it straight. Admiral Levine looks like me. They changed all of their whatevers to look like me, not the other way around. So you can compare me to that person all you want. Just make sure you get it right. They look like me, not the other way around. And yes, we're winning. Keep the faith. Call me and talk to me on Thursdays. Don't forget about the show on Thursdays, live, 7 p.m. Central Time. Talk to me, America, where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. I start out with some situations and I try to make, you know, things that people can bring up talk topics for, the hot topics that are being said. But you can actually call me and tell me anything or talk about anything. And I think I've proven that on several occasions, if you'll listen to some of the past shows. Even when being pranked. <laughs> also, too, if you like my work and you want to support me, uh, obviously, if you have a problem with me, I'm not for you, so you can move on. But if you want to support my work, please give me a share, a like, a comment, and a subscription. Uh, I'm not begging for subscriptions. I actually hear that the... Uh, algorithms work better if you watch me and you don't subscribe for being suggested to people or something like that. I've heard all kinds of theories, but like I say, I don't care one way or another. As long as you share me, watch me, comment, call me. Also, too, a donation would be the ultimate. My donation links and all of my alternative links are down below. So click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.